Sun House was one of the most important blues musicians in Mississippi before the war. Everything he recorded before the war is regarded as a blues classic today. He was also a peer and friend of two of the other most important blues musicians in Mississippi at that, in that pre-war period. Blues greats Charlie Patton and Willie Brown. And he was a source of information about them at a time when he re-emerged in the 60s when very little was known about those men. So he, he was important in multiple ways. He was also an influence, a major influence on two of the most important blues musicians who would have enormous influence after the war, Muddy Waters and Robert Johnson, a primary influence on them. And through them, on a whole generation of rock and rollers, the Rolling Stones, Eric Clapton, people like that. And that influence has continued um, into another generation of rock musicians. Sunhouse had a very compelling life story, I thought, full of these dramatic reversals, ups and downs, um, sudden changes. He's in prison for killing a man in Mississippi probably in the late 20s. He gets out around late 1929 and early 30, and he gets a recording contract with one of the best rec uh, record labels in the country. So his life was full of these dramatic changes that I thought, apart from simply his b being a blues musician, had a great story quality to it that made me want to write it. This is the University of Rochester.